Hello friends, welcome to my channel HVACR Engineers. Be professionals. Welcome friends. This video, we going to see about, new filtration efficiency, rating standard, which is, ISO 16890. New ISO, standard, ISO 16890 replaces, EN. 779. ISO 16890 regulates classification of particulate filters for room air. This new standard in effect, since late 2016, has superseded European Standard E. N. 779, in mid of 2018. ISO 16890 provides lab evaluation procedures, which more realistically, simulate actual operating conditions. Replacing the old standards, filter classes G1, 2, F9, by classification system, based on particulate groups, PM1, PM2.5, and, PM10. These same particulate categories, are used by, the World Health Organization, in evaluation of environmental air quality. ISO 16890 will impact the different standards used in worldwide. For example, ASHRAE 52.2 was the standard used in the US but, in Europe, EN 779-2012 was the dominant standard. And on other continents, a combination of the two was in effect. The new standard now establishes one uniform standard throughout the world and may eventually supersede the various current standards this will enable consumers to make valid comparisons between air filtration products and will also help to drive substandard air filters out of the market. Why? ISO 16890 is the future for HVAC filters? One of the weaknesses of the current air filtration efficiency standards is that they did not test for particulates that were smaller than 3 microns. The new standard will focus heavily on how well, air filters can eliminate the tiniest particles, which have been, identified as the most hazardous to human health. Filter classes, according to, ISO, 16890. ISO, 16890, classifies according to filter groups, evaluating a filter's performance by, its arrestance of particles, from 0.3 to 10 micron in size. Filter group, PM1 comprises particulate sizes less than or equal to 1 micron. PM2.5, includes particulate sizes less than or equal to 2.5 micron, and PM10, covers particulate sizes, less than or equal to 10 micron. For filter experts, the key difference is clear. The old standard, tests arrestance of, only one particulate size, 0.4 micron. The new standard determines, arrestance over a spectrum of particulate sizes, The new ISO 16890 standard divides the air filters into four groups. A prerequisite for each group is that a filter captures at least 50% of the appropriate particle size range. If a filter, for example, captures more than 50% of PM1 particles, it will be grouped as an ISO EPM1 filter. The respective efficiency is then reported, rounded in 5% increments. Alongside fine dust filters, the new ISO standard also evaluates coarse dust filters as ISO coarse, that is, filters that capture less than 50% PM10. Notes e is the removal efficiency in the particle size range between 50 to 99% removal. Filters with removal efficiencies above 99% are tested to the ISO 29463 range of standards. 
this table, we can see about the differences, between the EN779 and ISO 16890 standard. Coarse filters 30%, is equals to G2 filters. Same like, you can refer here, the different type filters rating comparisons. Why a new filtration standard, ISO 16890? The new, ISO 16890 test method, shifts the focus on filtration performance, to the classes of particulate matter size, and is therefore, a much more realistic test criteria than, the theoretical. EN779, 2012. What is different? This means that, with the new ISO 16890 standard filter efficiencies, will be determined, based on particulate matter size classes, PM1, PM2.5, and, PM10, also called, EPM1, EPM2.5, and, EPM10, which are, also used as evaluation parameters, by the World Health Organization, and, other authorities. Based on these parameters, it will be easier for users, to select the right air filter, based on their requirements. What does, PM1 mean? PM1, means all particulate matter, with size smaller than 1 micron which is a thousandth of a millimeter. Just to be clear, 1 micron equals 0.001 millimeters equals PM1. 2.5 micron equals 0.0025 millimeters equals PM2.5. 10 micron equals 0.01 millimeters equals PM10. How is, ISO 16890, different from EN779? The new ISO 16890 standard, differs because, it focuses on a filter's ability to capture, different size particles in the danger zone. Where particulate is too small for our bodies, inbuilt defenses to protect against. Testing under ISO 16890, exposes a filter to particles from, 0.3 micron all the way up to 10 micron. This means that, filters are tested in conditions that are, much more similar to real life, and you get a product capable of performing, as you expect it to. Thank you all. See you in next video, about the various types of air filters. Thank you all. Please like and comment the videos. Share my channel with your friends. Subscribe my channel for more updated videos. Thank you see you next video.